Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my memory spread for the week of October 15th and October 21st. And like all my spreads have been recently in my Erin Condren, um, this will be memory plan, which means that the week is already over. Um, I'm just going in and filling out everything that has happened. And the way that I keep track of what goes on is I use the notes app of my iPhone. And then when I memory plan, I have my phone by me so I can reference um, each day day. So for this week, I have a really gorgeous kit from Shop Jessica Hearts, and I've been holding on to this kit for some time. It is so gorgeous. It was one that she had brought back, and I had been eyeing it for a while, so I was really glad that she had brought it back. It's called Boho, and this quote box here says free spirit, and what I love most about this is the combination of the wood pattern as well as the string lights. Those are two of my favorite things in a kit, and um, as you can see, this bottom washi is just perfect. So yeah, I have been holding on to this kit for some time and I'm really excited to be finally using it. Um, here we have a functional sheet. Oh, sorry, I didn't really quite go over the previous sheet. So we have all the full boxes here. We have the bottom washi and washi strips. Here we have the functional items like some headers, a movie marquee, cyber trackers, um, date covers, and then some icons. We've got the headers, um, half boxes, and a weekend banner. And then we have the full box checklists. And then we got some flags, icons, bill do stickers, quarter boxes, and then some little things here on the side. And I believe this is a full kit. More recently, um, I've been purchasing mini kits from her shop because they actually work really perfectly for my planning style. So I anticipate that I will have quite a bit left over from the spread. And um, without further ado, I wanna get started with the bottom wash. Um, I love this pattern, like I said, but I do think that I want to trim down a little bit of the bottom here so that I can pull in this really pretty simply gilded um, gold foil bow washi. This is the thinner uh, washi. I'm not sure what the size is. I think it's 10 millimeters. I'm never quite sure, but my plan is to pull this into the bottom washi and I hope that turns out okay. So if you're interested in watching me plan, then stay tuned. I'm just fast forwarding through this part pretty quickly because I did already explain what I wanted to do and I think it turned out so pretty like the combination of the bow washi with the string lights which is perfection and I'm honestly obsessed with how that turned out. So then moving to my sidebar I put down the free spirit quote box in the top corner and then I placed down all of the date covers at the top. This kit did not come with any date dots so um, I think it's a little later on but I did find some date dots in my leftovers collection that kind of match the colors of the kit so I ended up pulling those in rather than writing the dates in myself. I whited out the top corner flags this week because it didn't match in color and then this kit did not come with any flags so what I ended up doing was putting down a gold foil bow from White Deer Stationery and it's white so the circle part kind of blends in with the paper so all you see is that little bow and I thought that was really cute. Um, the glitter headers I used this week were mostly from Mandy Dreams. I think there was one from a different shop so I'll talk about that when I pull it out but um, this one on the sidebar is from Mandy Dreams. I used the habit tracker for my work out as usual. Then I used a strip of washi with a gold foil heart from Clever Gal Crafts to mark all my happy moments of the week. And then I used the dinners header with a Monday through Sunday box to track my dinners. Here's where I found those little date dots that I thought kind of matched the kit and I'm just placing all of them down. I think it was a leftover from a Piper Paper Company kit. And then for Monday, I first started by putting down a glitter header. That one is from Mandy Dreams. I used a little things with a shocked um, emoji face from the Coffee Monsters Co. because it was so windy on Monday. I used some washi strips with a Coffee Monday sticker from Love Shira to mark that I got my usual Monday coffee and then I put down the full box with the wood pattern and the TV icon came in the kit. I believe I used my Tombow Fudenosuke pen this week and I brush lettered upload plan with me because I did um, upload that morning. When I got home from work I did a pretty intense arms and core workout um, so I was like pretty sore the next couple days but um, I used a half box with a workout girl from Thule Plans. I then put down a little things to mark my dinner and I don't usually need to since I do have a dinners tracker, but I will mark it if it's something special or if I just need to take up some extra space and that's kind of the case for this day. Um, I used a flag with an edit sticker. I think that one is from K Stickers Co. And originally I put down a laptop from Sparkly Studio, but then I switched it up for a film clapper and that is from Mandy Dreams. 
At the end of the night, I did binge on YouTube for a while, so I pulled in this really cute laptop sticker, which either was from the kit or from my leftovers, I can't quite remember. On Tuesday, I started by pulling in the Simply Gilded Thin Washi at the top, and then I put down a quarter box from the kit with a pencil icon, which is from Nikki Plus 3 to mark a meeting that we had. Um, after that meeting, which was a staff meeting, we had an IEP, which are meetings that we hold for students in special education, and um, I put that on a half box, and that IEP flag is from Lily Grove Designs. At the bottom, I put down a full box because I knew that's where I wanted it. And then that pink glitter header I put down is from the Paper Lee Boutique. Moving back to the middle section, I put down a today header with another little things to mark that um, it was a really, really long day at work. I ended up getting home pretty late. To mark that, I used a sticker from Mochi Kichi, and it's basically their little Mochi character like slamming his head into the desk, which is kind of how I felt by the end of the day. And then that afternoon, I did a kickboxing workout, and um, I pulled in a little running girl from, I think that's from Miscellany Boulevard. On the full box, I marked that I just kind of relaxed for the end of the day since I had a really long day at work. Um, that pillow sticker, I think, is from Toffee Bananas. It was part of a little sampler. Then moving to Wednesday. Wednesday is just a really special day for me. Um, ever since I was 11, I just really, really love this date. And so I always like to do something special on this day to celebrate. Um, I wrote Happy October 17 on a full box and pulled in a gold foil bow from Clever Gal Crafts. I had a couple appointments at work that day, so I cut up a two heart checklist to mark them, and then I used um, that quarter box with the Happy Mail sticker from the kit and an envelope sticker. I think that's from my Peachy Printables, um, but anyways, I used that to mark that I checked my PO box that day and got some really great Happy Mail I'm excited to share with you guys in a haul. My boyfriend and I then did date night on Wednesday um, because, again, I just like to make this day really special. We checked out a new Hawaiian place, which is so good. The date night sticker is from the kit and then that gold foil heart is from clever gal crafts after that we took a stroll along the beach and that was really sweet so i used a little location heart sticker from sunset sticker co to mark that at the end of the night when i got home i did want to marinate some bulgogi i was trying to make it from scratch and that actually turned out really good so i was proud of myself um the little cooking icon is from mochi kichi and i think it's so cute Moving to Thursday, I started with a glitter header at the top. I used a flag to mark that I had a counseling session with one of my students that I've been starting on Thursday mornings. And then um, I pulled in an asterisk from the kit to mark that it was the Great American Shakeout, like earthquake drill. So we did that. It was like earthquake plus fire plus um, some other kind of drills. So it did take quite a bit of time. Um, I used a quarter box with a alarm clock sticker, which I can't remember where that's from because I just added those to my collection. One of my friends, um, stop planning and so she ended up giving me all of the stickers that she wasn't going to use anymore um then under that i used um, a strip of the simply gilded washi with a full box the one with the heart which is so pretty and then i did have another meeting at the end of the day so i put that on a half box with a bow paper clip sticker from echo hui craft co at the bottom of the day, I used a two heart checklist to mark what I did when I got home. Um, I did end up cooking the bulgogi that I made the night before, and also my boyfriend and I both kind of had a rough day at work, and so we were just venting over some beers. And the beer sticker I pulled in is from Paper and Milk. On Friday, I started with a half box at the top. The balloon stickers actually came in the kit. I think those ones are so cute. And then I brush lettered TGIF to mark how excited I was for Friday, as I usually am. I then put down a today header with a full box underneath. Um, the coffee sticker I just placed down is from Chasing Chels. It's like really pretty latte art. And as usual, I like to get my coffee on Friday mornings. And then I put down a large flag on the full box with a paper clip bow sticker from Very Cute Designs to mark a couple to do's that I had before I got to work. Um, I layered a couple strips of washi and then used that shoe sticker, which I think is from Simply Laura Paper Shop, and brush letter working out to mark that I did my workout that day. I've been really trying to work out four to five times every week, which has actually been going pretty well, so I'm quite proud of myself. And um, then I used a glitter header with a two heart checklist to mark some things that I did after working out. That uh, microphone sticker is from Love Shira. I actually cut it out of her record sticker, so I just kept the lettering part where it says record and then stuck the microphone on that um, checklist at the end of the night we just kind of chilled and so i pulled in this really cute um, bundled up emoji from the coffee monsters co 
For Saturday, I placed down the full box at the bottom because I knew that's where I wanted it. Then I moved to the top and placed down the weekend banner, which I kind of had trouble with because it was a little asymmetrical. So it took me a couple times to make sure I had it the way I wanted it. Um, back to the bottom, I used a strip of Simply Gilded Washi on top of the full box. And then now back to the top, sorry, I was like kind of going all over the place with this day. I used a today header with a three heart checklist to mark some things that I got done in the morning, which included laundry, um, cleaning the kitchen, and then editing my video. Um, that edit sticker is from Very Cute Designs and the spray bottle cleaning sticker is from Toffee Bananas. We then checked out a new boba place near our house so I used a boba sticker from a happy blue tree and because I felt like it was a little squished I ended up moving up the checklist um, so that it was touching the header. And then I was running out of space, so I actually lifted up the glitter header. And on the half box, I put down a grocery icon from Paper and Milk to mark that we got some groceries. We also checked out Orchard Supply Hardware or something because they were having like a closing sale. So we checked it out. I think we only picked up a couple things. And um, I replaced that grocery icon with another grocery one that was from the same sheet. I did cut off a little bit of the full box because I couldn't fit the Simply Gilded Washi as I wanted to. And so I go ahead and do that and then place down the Simply Gilded Washi. And then I remembered that I forgot to use a glitter header on this day. So I went back to the top and switched out the Today header. Back to the bottom, again, this day was like all over the place. Um, I used the record sticker that was um, the other part of the microphone sticker, and I pulled in another film clapper from Mandy Dreams to mark that I filmed that night and also worked out. So the shoe sticker, I think, is from Paper and Milk. That's pretty much it for Saturday, so then I move on to Sunday. I started by putting down a quarter box at the top. That little toast sticker is from Happy Dia Stickers. It's one of my favorites. I think it's so cute. I use that to mark that we got some bread at 85 Bakery, which is really good. And then my friend was coming over to stay for a couple days um, the next day, so I did have to prepare our little guest room for her. That bed sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams, and I also pulled in that heart arrow sticker, which is from Mandy Dreams. I used a glitter header with a strip of washi and a nail icon from Lemon Paper Co. to mark that I painted my nails. And then underneath that, I used a little things to mark that I drove up to LA to pick up one of my best friends who was in town for the weekend. She was at a birthday party, but um, I was able to see her on Sunday before she had to go home. So uh, it was really good to see her, even just for a few hours. Um, we went shopping and then had Din Tai Fung, which is our favorite place. And that really cute dim sum sticker is from Happy Dia Stickers. I then pulled in this shopping girl sticker, which I think is also from Happy Dia Stickers, to mark that we ended up going to Santa Monica and kind of shopping around there before I had to drop her off at the airport. And then at the bottom, I have a little quarter box there. Um, I found this spray bottle. I think it was just a leftovers in my collection. I don't know where it's from, um, but I use that to mark that I did clean when I got home because again, my friend was coming over to stay the following days. And so I wanted to make sure um, her place was clean. Um, so anyways, that is it for the spread. Now I'm just moving back and filling in all of my sidebar items to track my working out, my happy moments, and then my dinners for the week. Now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left in this kit. I do have quite a few left over because again, this was a full kit and I don't always need all the stickers that are included. But anyways, you guys, I love this so, so much. This is probably one of my favorite spreads ever. And I know I say that all the time, but this week was also really special to me. So I think that's why I love it even more. And actually this video will be a leftovers giveaway. I just sort of decided that right now. I have quite a stash that I am um, ready to give out. So if you're interested in entering the giveaway, Giveaway, please just leave a comment that says giveaway or giveaway entry or something and I'll have a go until Sunday the 11th at 9 p.m. Pacific time and then I'll contact the winner on YouTube um, just by responding to their comments on the following day on Monday so if you're interested like I said please just leave a quick giveaway comment down below this is open internationally so um, anyone can enter and yeah thank you so so much for watching I hope you guys love this as much as I do I feel like this spread just screams me like it's everything that I love and so anyways thank you so much for watching again and um, I will talk to you in my next video bye